Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Nazim bin Hamza and I'm the lecturer at Quality Engineering Section at Unica MIT. And I am the instructor for the non-destructive testing module. So in this video, I would like to uh, demonstrate to you on how to conduct magnetic particle testing or MPI. Okay. So here, uh, first let's go through on what we'll be using for to conducting this method. So for uh, MPI, okay, first we'll be using uh, cleaner. So this is one of the disposable items. So please read carefully on the uh, label of the can before using any of these three disposable items. First we have the cleaner and then the second is we have the uh, magnetic ink or black ink. Right? Magnetic black ink. So this will interact with the yolk. Okay. And then the third disposable item that we were using is white contrast paint. So these are three disposable items. And next, the equipment that we'll be using is this, which is magnetic yoke. So magnetic yoke, okay. So for this type of magnetic yoke, it have uh, two current, which is AC and DC, which is alternating current and direct current. So we'll be using alternating current only. Okay. So first, try uh, to, to inspect whether this equipment is functioning. So on. Okay, and then test the strength of the magnetic whether the yoke is functioning or not okay so if the yoke is functioning which is good so now we can proceed with the procedure so for uh, sample that we will use for magnetic particle please take uh, the allocated sample according to the correct uh, box for magnetic particle. So do not mix between sample of magnetic particle and sample for red dye penetrant. So again, the equipment that we'll be using is your safety goggles, your rubber glove, okay? And then if you do not wear a jacket or long sleeve, please wear an apron. So first, wear your rubber gloves. And then also wear your face mask. So here I will be not using the face mask because you will not uh, hear my instruction clearly. So for this video purposes, I will not wearing a face mask. But when conducting the um, inspection method, please wear your face mask at all times during conducting the inspection method. So for MPI, magnetic particle, so again, take your desired sample that you will be testing. So for uh, each sample has its own uh, number, sample number, okay? So meaning that for each sample has its own defect. So the, the defect will be located at one side only. But for your inspection purposes or for your practical purposes, you will be, not, you will be need, needed to conduct the inspection on both sides. Okay, so in your report, uh, so all the written instruction will be the same, but in the report, it will include two samples, meaning that if you have a, a two person in one group, meaning that you will be having two sample report. If you have three person in your sample, in your group, so you will have a three sample report for each, meaning that each individual student needed to conduct the inspection individually. So again, for if you have three students, so take different uh, sample numbers. So do not test the same sample for the three inspectors. Okay. So in the uh, 
report so in the sample report so you need to uh, write out your name the name of the inspector the name and the number of the sample uh, what are the defects and then the length of the defects so this will be needed to clearly written in the uh, sample report okay so let's move on to the procedure of conducting magnetic particle inspection so the first step is to conduct pre-cleaning process so we'll be using the cleaner solution So take out the cleaner and clean the sample that will be inspected. So take your wire brush, okay, and take out any impurities or any corrosion from the sample. So this is to avoid any misindication or confusion of the defects. So this is the first step, which is pre-cleaning. So once we have uh, conducted the first step of pre-cleaning the sample, so next is we need to apply the white contrast paint to the sample. Okay. So before that, shake well the, the aerosol can until you hear steel ball moving. Okay, and then. Test first the uh, aerosol can okay, until you see a clear white uh, paint, okay, rather than a uh, clear paint. So this one, white and clear paint. Okay, so if it's when you spray, you will see a clear paint. So the meaning that the developer has not been shaken well. Okay. So sample, if you now we see a white paint. Now the tenants are ready to be used. Okay, so to apply the white contrast, so again we are conducting an inspection of the weldment. So we want to check the integrity of the weldment. So the, therefore, we'll be applying the white print to the first is the weldment area or the welding that takes place. So this is the weldment area. So the second area is HAZ meaning that heat affected zone. So around 25 mm of from the weldment, so both sides, right and left of the weldment, so we'll be expecting. So we need that we'll be applying first to the weldment area and both sides of HAZ. So this is the area that we'll be applying the white contrast paint. So shake carefully and now we are into the second step which is to apply the white contrast paint. So that is step number two to apply the white contrast paint. So now we are into step number three. So step number three is to wait for the white contrast to properly absorb into the discontinuity. Or what we call as a dwell time so white contrast dwell time so this is step number three so we need to wait around five to fifteen minutes or based on what the develop manufacturer has stated for their product so it will also depends on the temperature on the surrounding okay so let's wait for the dwell time of the white contrast to take place So now, the time for the twelve time uh, to take place has been completed. So now let's test okay, or introduce the magnetic field into the sample. So place the sample. So so for the magnetic yoke, okay, so it will have its legs. So you can put place or adjust the legs based on the size of the weldment or the welding area that you need to expect. So the this leg can be adjusted. Okay. So what you need to ensure is you need to ensure that 
the both of the leg properly touching the sample. So this will give a good contact and will give a good magnetic field to the sample. Okay, so adjust and make sure that both legs are touching the sample. So next is to on the magnetic yoke to introduce the magnet magnetic field to the sample. Now we will be applying. So this is step number four. We will be applying the magnetic particles. Okay, so, so shake well. Okay. So while uh, turning on the magnetic yoke, okay, we will be, we'll be applying the magnetic particle. So after we apply the magnetic particle, okay, we can see the, the clear indication of the defects. Okay, so here we can see the clear indication of the defects. So this is a centerline crack. Okay. So now we are on to step number six. So step number six is to make a reference point or a datum point so make a datum point so point a and point b and mark the first defect that occur so, so this is the first point of the defect occur and then lastly where the defects end so mark the point of the defects end so it's here so this will be x so this will be y so now take your ruler and measure the lengths. So for X we have around 2.5. So here we have 2.5 and then for Y we have around 2.4. Okay. Okay. So X is the length of the defect starting and Y is the length of the defect. So stated uh, so take a picture, take a photos of uh, the result that you have gained and um, put it into your lab report. Okay. So make sure you need to describe the types of the defect. So for this defect is the centerline crack. Okay. So after you have completed step number six, so the last the final step, step number seven, is to conduct a post clean. So this is where you need to clean the surface by applying a cleaner to the sample so once you have make uh, once you have inspect and uh, the, the area of the defects so you make your marking so you have conduct you have measured the defects the length of the defects so now you go conducting the step number seven which is the last step is to conduct a post cleaning So, so apply the cleaner to the sample and use your wire brush to remove any white contrast and white and black particle, black magnetic particle from the sample.
Okay, so once you have uh, connected the post cleaning and make sure that the sample are properly clean before you can store back the sample at its uh, desired or at its located box. Okay, so lastly, you please clean up your workstation and remove all the uh, uh, used tissue and used rubber, rubber, rubber glove at the look, uh, designated dustbin. Okay, so clean up your workstation. Okay, so a reminder, please conduct the uh, magnetic particle inspection at the designated booth only, which is, please use booth number 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 5 and 6 only for the magnetic particle inspection. So thank you for co cooperation and thank you for watching and good luck on your uh, conducting the practical session for magnetic particles. We will see you again in the next video. Assalamualaikum.